What's up everybody, I'm Albie13. Okay, so I wanted to jump into this video so that you can see what we're talking about and I can provide commentary as it plays. Refresh myself on this video. So, what you're going to see is the what some are calling an AGI robot. But this is figure 01 robot using OpenAI's GPT functionality, as I understand it. So I'm going to look into this as I make this video live, but let's play the video now. Hey, figure one, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Great. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. Great. So based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. Great. Can you put them there? Of course. All right, so how do you think you did? I, I think I did pretty well. The apple found its new owner, the trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. I agree. Thanks, figure one. You're welcome. If there's anything else you need help with, just let me know. Okay. So I appreciate that I did a live demo that was not sped up. The thing is that my first impression immediately what I hate about this robot is that it stutters and tries to mimic a person when you obviously have a first generation interaction with people, regular people, you know, that is an everyday person. Um, I don't like that it's trying to have a personality in terms of how it communicates. I like that maybe it sounds like someone, but I don't like the way that it sounds like. I know it's brutal, but we're talking about a robot and we're talking about an AI communicating with you. So um, my first thought is as soon as I interact with this robot, I should have the option of it really communicating perfectly or being like this, which some people will prefer. I was just talking about preference, but if we're talking about a robot that can really do all this stuff and seem organic, seem human-like, but we have to compare it to the standard that is Optimus, SpaceX, excuse me, Tesla's robot. Um, I do think that it's a good-looking robot. It makes sense when you communicate with it that the face is showing you when it's listening, processing, communicating with you. So that seems to make a lot of sense. It has obvious things like good hands, good fingers, and can do these tasks and things like this. But this should blow you away because not only is it doing what Optimus has done in the past, which is doing tasks that it's taught or tasks that it's shown how to do or tasks that it's replicated by a person doing it and then the robot doing it, which it can show its articulation and what its function can do in, in, in real life. 
Uh, so this demo is supposed to blow you away because it's live, it's not sped up, it's using GPT OpenAI to process things. It's using this figure 01, um, this figure company. Um, and so that's where I'm jumping in. I noticed they had a Twitter. They have 50,000 followers, which is nothing. So if you want to get in on this, uh, they said they're hiring. We're going figure.ai, jumping into their website. Um, immediately they show off the robot. So I realized that I want to capture footage of this because they actually have new footage that I haven't seen in very high quality. So as you watch this, I should be taking that footage and putting it in the video. So it's walking by itself. Um, I assume it has a battery in its backpack along with other critical things. I actually want to see that again. Here it comes. So the face is really interesting because it has a lot of graphic stuff going on. It has like the sweeping thing where it's showing that it's processing, it's active, it's powered up, it's doing things. It's not exactly human, but it's sleek and cool looking. So the robot is meant to look cool, futuristic, but sleek, modern, and kind of like aerodynamic so that it fits in with people it fits in with its environment um combination of this smooth with open design so that it can you can see how it's working and what it is so um let's see what they say they say that Figure is an AI robotics company bringing a general purpose humanoid to life. Watch the full video. Let's see. Okay, so we have another video, which I will just put that as well. Trained coffee demo. Let's watch it. Figure one, can you make me a cup of coffee? Okay, that's it. They put emphasis on it loading the K-cup and correcting an issue with it loading, which is going to happen. Um, so, it's a nice demo. And if we look at the demos that we're seeing, we're seeing it covering manufacturing warehouse type of scenario. We're seeing it covering household scenario where it's making coffee and it's cutting up apple and it's putting away dishes. So um, it's kind of what I talk to people about because I talk to people about it. The next thing that's obvious is having a maid, a cook, a butler, a Rosie the Robot at home. Um, people will pay for that even if it's just even if it's just the concept and it does everything but it may not be perfect and they may not even use it as much as they think but this is just the future and it's going to be a talking piece for early adopters and it will be perceived as being worth money 
So that's that. And really this thing came on the scene. They have some raw specs on the website saying that it's five foot six inches tall. It can uh, carry a payload of, let's see what that is, 20 kilograms to pounds. That's 44 pounds. It weighs 132 pounds. It operates for five hours on battery. And of course, it's all electric. So let's see, figure in the news, according to the website. So, I mean, they're making it kind of easy for me to talk about because they're putting it all together in one place. Uh, figure AI startup valued at $2.6 billion as Jeff Bezos, that is Amazon, OpenAI, NVIDIA join in on the funding. BMW taps startup figure company to take on Tesla's robot. Let's see what we got. Figure has signed a partnership with BMW Manufacturing to deploy its humanoid robots in the car makers facility in the US. As more companies turn to human like robots to take on certain physical tasks. This marks the first commercial deal figure has signed since it was founded in 2022. And they didn't disclose how many robots they will be using, but they will start with small quantities and expand if the performance targets are hit. Figures humanoid robots will be deployed in South Carolina. They currently employ 11,000 people there. Okay. We have designed the robot to be safe next to humans. Working within BMW uh, in a manufacturing facility is a huge validator for us in the space. They're talking about Optimus Gen 2, which is hitting the streets. Elon Musk predicts that a billion humanoid robots will be on Earth in the 2040s well okay thanks for that all right then what else um that's about it for what I i'm going to talk about the master plan roadmap to a positive future powered by ai according to figure there are over 10 million unsafe or undesirable jobs in the united states alone Making it's difficult for companies to um, scale their workforce, specifically due to an aging population. They believe, as a result, the labor supply growth is set to flatline this century. If we want continued growth, we need more productivity, and AI robots is the answer. Automation. They specifically mention here, and they're talking about GDP. Of course, anybody can see that who's business-minded and economy-minded. Consumer household, 2.3 billion households worldwide. Okay, well, that. But they're talking about 700 million aging population in need of at-home care, and they expect that AI robots will be helping with at-home care. Off-world. Uh, they're, they're mentioning space exploration to build new worlds. So they're envisioning that AI robots will help in space, specifically to build colonies on Mars and in on the moon. So we will, they don't say that, but that's the obvious next two possibilities. Let's see, they do say off-world space exploration, build new worlds. Okay, how we can do it. Okay, is there anything specific here that I would talk about? It's essential that our humanoids will be able to interact with humans in the workplace safely. We design them to be able to adhere to industry standards and corporate requirements, which makes sense for them to already be creating robots that are specific for that. Purpose-built, get them out there as quickly as possible because they can't they can't be put out fast enough. 
uh, companies want to test. They mentioned Hyundai and another company, I think. Uh, well, of course, Tesla. They The companies want to test them and use them. And Amazon has already deployed humanoid robots, if you weren't aware of that. Which is so these things are happening fast, they're happening now, and uh, this is too important to not talk about. So here we are. Make sure you follow my Twitter if you want AI robot updates, because when there is something significant, I try to retweet it, quote it, or post about it. Thank you for watching. I'd love to hear your comments if you want to type any there or send me any messages at on twitter it's of course i'll be 13. do hit like because it helps um but of course you're welcome to the interaction dislike if you disliked something about maybe you think that robots are going to take our jobs you dislike that that's all right the interaction is important um but uh According to people online, it's, they say if you like it, then it's more likely to be recommended. So I'm going to be put out there more. It sounds good to me. So thank you very much for listening, watching it through, and I hope you find it valuable. And I'm in the technology world. I do this for business stuff. I love it personally. I hope you enjoy it.